we didn't obviously get off to a great start, and um, but a reaction from the goal was fantastic. And you know, for 70, 80 minutes, we were on the front foot. We were the better side. We we played some fantastic football. We pressured Juventus, made them making mistakes, and particularly in the first half. You know, our energy and, and quality was you know as good as we played here for quite a while. We needed a goal. Effie had a great chance with the header. I thought goes in the tie is the tie was alive anyway at one 0 but if we, we equalise it's really given us a, a galvanizing experience but it wasn't to be. And uh, the second goal sort of burst the bubble a little bit. And um when you make you know defensive mistakes at this level you get punished and that was the case tonight. Well, we need a miracle. We have to try and be competitive and, um, you know, try and work our way into the tie. Um, said to the players at half time, 1 0, we're fine. You know, there's a long way to go in the second half, but um, I just felt the heads drop when the second goal went in. And, you know, we looked a little bit ragged towards the end. I would like to ask the Italian journalists what they make of the, the way Juventus marked our players. It looked to me there was. They were fouling at every opportunity. The referee was warned by our players to keep an eye on it, and he ignored our request. And time and time again, every time we went to lose a marker, we were being hauled back. And the referee is looking straight at it. I pointed it out to the referee at half time in the, the tunnel area, and he just waved me away. So I left it at that. But I, you know, I made it clear to the players that they were to flag it up with the referee, and they did. And he kept ignoring the requests. They were being fouled. They were being manhandled. It's not rugby we're playing. It's soccer.